All right, top. Here's a story you will only see on WUSA 9, and it's about the families of men and women who risk their lives to protect our country. Some of them are living in disgusting and even dangerous conditions. Military housing with mold and dead rodents and nails popping up from the floor. This is unacceptable. So what's being done to fix it? Investigative reporter Laura Geller takes us inside the dangers at home. These are pictures from the inside of the homes of military families. This is inside someone's kitchen. Really, would you want to live with this? Dead rodents found outside your house. Mold climbs up the walls to the ceilings and lead paint chips off the window frames. All these people want is a safe place to live, but this is what they're dealing with across the country and right here in our area. From the moment walking into that house, we had, we could tell something was wrong. And I remember hearing what sounded like, like it was just like a rushing water sound. That's when I first saw what was the alarming amount of black mold all over the stud work, the wood, the drywall behind there, the insulation was covered in black. This picture military wife Heidi Starr gave us is date stamped. She took it in her home on Quantico on January 3rd, 2018. These photos show repairmen working and mold still in the home. They are date stamped February 13th. That's six weeks after workers first found it. So what's your fear? Um, that we, we've been exposed for quite a while. Lincoln Military Housing is the contractor responsible for running and fixing more than 1,100 homes on Quantico. Covered with mold. A spokesman said they responded to the Stars Burst pipe within minutes. The repair work took weeks. It was done in phases. They said they needed to special order cabinets. Lincoln maintains the mold in the February photos was in an area techs couldn't see until they started installing those new cabinets. A statement from the CEO reads, we have hired an independent third party expert to review our entire moisture and mold management program, including our prevention and remediation procedures. You don't feel that you should worry about your health at home. You don't feel, um, especially when your hands are tied, that you can't fix the problems yourself. So I want to be able to help my kids protect myself, protect my health as well, and know that my kids aren't forced to live in something like that. Lincoln is just one of the providers in the Military Housing Privatization Initiative. Since the program started in the late 90s, the Department of Defense has privatized 99% of its housing. According to DOD, contracts for these companies last 50 years. But in recent months, the businesses have faced backlash for not providing the quality homes they were supposed to. There are more than 200,000 of them across the country. And this isn't how we take care of people who make you know, some of the biggest sacrifices for our country. Shannon Razadin is a Navy wife and the executive director of the Military Family Advisory Network. They did a survey of military families and just released the results. The group asked an open-ended question to be able to get the bigger picture. Describe your experiences living in privatized housing. Almost 11,000 people responded. There should never be a scenario where families moved into a home that's not safe. I mean, that's a basic need. New analysis shows more than 6,000 of the people who responded said they experienced maintenance issues. We're not talking about small things like a sticky window, but substantial issues that affect their lives. These pictures were given to us by military families who did not want to be identified. More than 3,000 said they had mold in their homes and about 2,000 noted structural concerns. All this while company executives told Congress in February With they DOD are reaping the rewards. Housing. Mr. Williams? Our, our net profits for our military housing business are around $33 million. A year. A year. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Pissern? Our net profits are closer to 12 to $14 million. We now also know the biggest issues on our local bases. Those who responded from Quantico listed maintenance and mold. 
On both Fort Meade and Joint Based Anacostia Bowling, about 7 out of 10 people who responded also cited maintenance concerns. The stars moved from Quantico to Bowling last year. We had several thresholds um, where the carpet wasn't reaching the threshold. The strips and the metal parts are gashing and cutting feet. Um, we're usually a barefoot family in our home and that's not comfortable when you're like worried that your two year old's going to run and slice their foot open. Members of Congress toured their home there. They kneeled down to take a picture and two nails popped up through the threshold. And about a year after moving in the week of our interview, Hunt Companies, which manages housing on that base, decided to replace the flooring. A spokeswoman for Hunt tells WUSA 9 they are aware of the concerns at bowling and replace the STARS flooring after multiple service calls about the issue. She sends us a statement saying Hunt holds itself accountable and is committed to continuing to make necessary improvements to offer every resident high quality housing. There's no reason uh, why uh, we should be here today where this has been uh, raised to a level where Congress has to get involved. Um, the Department of Defense has to do better by our military families. Lawmakers on the Hill, including Maryland Congressman Anthony Brown, have proposed new legislation to give military families more protections and increase transparency and oversight of these deals. The service branches have announced surveys and hotlines. Their leaders also promised to renegotiate those 50-year contracts for more accountability. The military contractors say they're working to improve their systems, and Congress is also expected to take up this issue as it goes through the defense spending bill. This is an issue that's not going to be fixed overnight. It's going to take a long time. We are seeing the right attention given to it, but I also think that there's a lot more that we have to learn as far as how do we get this far and how can we make sure that this is fixed in a way that's responsible and puts the needs of families first. But there's a lot that Congress and DOD knew. We've uncovered warnings and documented problems in homes going back 20 years. We're working to find out why concrete fixes haven't been discussed until recently. And we'll bring you those stories as we continue to investigate. Okay, Leslie? so those companies have commented on star specific problem, but what about the broader issue here? Well, we wanted to talk to them about exactly that and we reached out, but they'd only give us statements. None of them would appear on camera. We've put those statements online and we've also created a searchable database so you can take a look at the issues on every base. Just head to WUSA9.com.